I am Alexandra Kostinyuk playing Black against Almir Skripchenko in the second game of the final of the Golden Blitz tournament. Um, I opened the game with the Petrov defense after e4, e5, knight f3, knight f6, knight takes e5, d6, knight f3, knight takes e4, knight c3, knight takes e3, d takes e3, bishop e7, bishop e3, knight c6, queen d2, castling, long side castling, knight e5. We reached a very popular nowadays uh, position. Almira played knight d4 and knight played c5. I have to tell you that it's all been my home preparation. I analyzed this variation at home. I found a very nice novelty. And since Almira has to win in this game, she opted for a very sharp continuation. She played knight b5, bishop e6. I'm sacrificing the pawn on d6. But after that, the d file will be open uh, and I will have enough compensation for this pawn. But since Almira's knight uh, moved all the way to b5, she will have to eventually take on d6 and we'll see what will happen after this. For the moment she played bishop b4, queen b6, and here there is no way back for white. She doesn't want to go on a3, so she she took on d6, knight g6, and we see now that um, her knight is hanging, so she played knight c4. But after queen e6, I want to take on e2, and at the same time I want to take on c4. So she has to protect both pieces. The only move is knight e3, and with, with the knight at the edge of the board, it's always difficult. To be better. So she played knight d3, c4, and still she, her knight is. She's constantly moving her knight, not developing her pieces, and I'm with every move, my position is getting better and better and better. Knight b1. I can take on a2, but I'm. I prefer to threaten even more my position by playing. Uh, rook a to d8, queen e3, rook takes d1, king takes d1, queen takes a2. King c1, I took on a4, queen took on a4, queen a5, I'm threatening to play bishop g5, so she played h4. And if we look at, um, at the times that both opponents have, we see that I have almost four minutes while Almira has only two and um, my position is much better and Almira needs to win in order to continue the match since I won the first game so she played bishop e2, b5, knight d2 of course everything is possible in blitz as we can remember from uh, second game of my semi-final of this tournament where I won an absolutely hopeless position against Ruchen. Rook d8 I played. Rook e1. But here I have to just be careful. Bishop d6. Queen f3, Almira is still having problems with her pieces. They are not well placed. Queen f5. So 
I took on G2. So I'm already two pawns up. And Elmira understands that if she exchanges Quint, it will be lost end game for her. So she played queen g4, but after queen takes f2, I'm already three pawns up, and my time is much better. My position as well. Rook d1, bishop f4, queen b1. Um, I cannot take on d2 now since after rook takes d2 rook takes d2 it will be checkmate after queen c8 so i made the prophylactic move h5 and after after queen f5 i took on e2 so it was an easy game i won this game thanks to my home preparation and i won in the final 2-0